Hi again, it's Simon Reynolds here, and today I want to talk to you about one of the smartest ways to grow your business. In fact, I put it in the top three most effective ways of growing your business that there are. And it's really, really simple. What is it? Model successful competitors. Model successful competitors. If you're finding it hard to grow your business, just look at people in your industry, in your sector, who are doing well and copy what they're doing. Could it be that easy? Absolutely. There are many, many business people that have made millions of dollars purely emulating, copying, modeling the people who are successful already in their industry. Now, there's several key ways you need to model. The first area of modeling is positioning. How does your successful competitor position themselves in the marketplace? So what are they saying to everybody? How are they phrasing that? Likewise, how are they positioning themselves on their website? Look at what they're doing and do something similar. How are they positioning themselves with their sales materials? So ask for some information and when they send it to you, study how they position their company in their sales materials and do something similar to that. And finally, how are they positioning themselves on the phone? Give them a call, ask about what they're offering and, and see how they, they position it to potential customers and then you do similar. Now when I say modeling, I don't mean absolutely copy verbatim everything they're doing, but take the best of what they're doing, slightly change it, and then present it in a similar way. Because if, the, if they've got to the top of their industry by positioning their company in that particular way, then you should be able to have success doing similarly. Okay, so the first way to uh, model successful competitors is to model their positioning. The next area you need to model is their product line. What actual products and services are they offering? Are they offering only one? Are they offering six? If they're offering six, maybe you can offer six. If they're offering it in different categories, maybe you can offer your product or service in the same categories. Once again, I'm not talking about exactly copying, but taking the essence of what they're doing and adjusting it to fit your company. Because if they're selling a lot of products and services, if they're doing a lot of revenue with the positioning of their product line like this, you should have a similar product line. The next area for modeling of your competitors is the pricing. How much are they charging? What do they include for that price? Clearly, a lot of clients, a lot of customers are saying yes to this. They're buying that pricing structure. So you should attempt to produce a similar pricing structure because you're almost certain to get clients who are happy with that. And then the next area for modeling successful competitors is their advertising. Have a look, where are you seeing them advertise? And maybe you should advertise in the same places. Is it on Google? Is it on Facebook? Is it in local press? Is it via direct mail? Just copy their same methods of advertising. And then secondly, inside the advertising uh, modeling, you may also have a look at their wording. So if they're doing ads that are running again and again and again, that's a pretty good sign that those ads are working. Now once again, ethically, you can't copy it word for word, but you can do something similar to what is clearly working so well for them. So have a look at this. It's a very big thought. Model successful competitors positioning, successful competitors product line, successful competitors pricing, and successful competitors advertising. Now, if you do all four of these things, it's almost certain that you have produced a cohesive strategy for business success. It's worked for them, and it will work for you as well.